But God can humble himself because he's so great. He's got beyond what we call great. He's on the other side. And he's so great that he can make himself humble. I thank thee, Father, of heavens and earth that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent. As I said, we split an atom and can't explain the life in a blade of grass. See? Walk over it. The very thing that declares God. We walk over the top of it. That's the same thing we do today. Yes, sir. Walk over the top of this which is God in letter form. That's right. And accept some man's creed or dogma instead of it. Selling your birthrights for a mess of pottage, for a popularity, for a church that'll let you wear bobbed hair and shorts and send you to cocktail parties and things like that, and then call yourself a Christian. Shame on you. Right. Not scolding you, but through godly respects and love. That's right. Get away from such a thing as that. Come back to God in his Bible. Come back to the gospel truth. Yeah. Let some organization wrap you away from the things of God. But you never do that. You come back to God's simple way. Just fall on your knees and say, Lord God, I don't care what, how you give it to me, but I'm here for it. Watch what happens. Be sincere about it. You're more anxious to give it to you than you are to receive it. You don't have to tarry and tarry and tarry 